Hey guys, Poop Long Way Back. I'm Aaron. I'm Melanie. I'm Calvin. Eric. And we are here with our movie for the week, The yes. Marvels. Yes. Um, Excited. I've I, watched uh, Captain Marvel, yeah. I've watched Miss <laughs> Marvel, and I've watched uh, WandaVision, so I'm ready. That yes. should cover most of the points Dang. there. And I've also watched all the MCU like almost everybody else in the world. <laughs> WandaVision is a very important factor, probably, for with Monica, anything going yeah. forward with the Marvels. Uh, Rambo. Rambo? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Rambo, things happen there. But I'm excited to see what ends up happening. We've seen the trailer, but I don't think it, none of us have seen the movie, right? Mm-hmm. I know you haven't. Not at all. Cool. Good. Not at all. Oh, yeah, we did see the trailer in London. Uh, I re- yeah, I remember, I remember a trailer. I don't remember what happened in it, though. I have no idea what happened. Like, I have no I idea. I remember who... some cool, better use of powers from Ms. Marvel, but that's yeah. about all I remember. In a closet... There's a few and things I remember. Either flying into it or flying out but of it. But not a general story of things, so. Yeah. But, uh, I think that was the end of So we don't remind uh, people too much about it. I don't want you guys to think too much, but we can get into the movie. There is going to be our full length available for our entire reaction, so if you want to see our full reaction, make sure you check out blindwave.com. There's links in the description below. But you will need your own reference footage. It's just us there. Which yeah. Sometimes is all you need. No. No, they need the show probably, so. We were watching this off Amazon Prime. Wait, I remember something more from the show. No! Boop, 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 boop. I'm also repping bad guys today. Look at this. Ooh. I haven't worn this shirt in a while. <laughs> this looks like a problem. Nah. <laughs> First I was trying to debate if it was like a face. It's a board cube. No, not a cube. No, it's a pyramid thingy. Isn't that supposed to be in DC? Oh, oh damn. It's like a shard. Lament. Like the thing that the Thanos crystal had. Shark! Like that knife that Thanos had. Uh-huh. Perfectly balanced. That's all things should be. Hey. Is that gong droid? They found another shard. Oh, it's like Ronan's daughter. <laughs> Look at that hammer. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely Kree. Yeah. You broke. Read Repulsa. Ah! That'd be great. <laughs> the tablet. Oh, Dude, best yeah. crossover Talk ever. Talking about Power Rangers. Oh, a bangle. That's the other one of Ms. Marvel, yeah. right? Didn't they talk about that mm-hmm. in, uh, in Ms. Marvel? Bangle. So who are these people? Kree? Yeah, Kree is... Even she's first. Kree? That's going to be trapped in there forever, that dust. Yeah. Moon dust. Walk like an Egyptian. I don't think she's Kree. Because uh, be his Kree. eyes are orange. She could be Kree. She could be, but... She should be half Kree. There's another. There's only one here. They were forged as a pair. He must be buried elsewhere. Elsewhere. He's gonna die, isn't he? Like where? Jersey. Jersey. <laughs> Joyzy Dan. I love the music. But, there it is. I love Kamala. Wait, they both put him on the left mm-hmm. arm. Which one's the right? Does it matter? I don't know. Shine on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Our hands are hard to draw. <laughs> they are. <laughs> <laughs> Even AI is like, uh, I don't know what to do. This is my chance. Hard light. Like this, by the way. It is pretty sweet. Yeah. Not bad, kid. I like holding on to that. What's your name? Miss Marvel? Dude. Twinsies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you wanna go party with the Avengers? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, can you fly? No, but, um, I can do this. <laughs> oh, she put on her outfit, too. She's playing. Goose. Selfie. <laughs> Did he do that? Did she <laughs> have space crocs? All. Yeah. Why are they space crocs? Just because they're crocs doesn't mean they're space In crocs. In space. She's not wearing space clothes. Yeah, yeah, she is. Well, I guess she's in a spaceship. Wait. <laughs> he turned on the coffee? <laughs> he took a selfie. He can turn on coffee. My favorite one-eyed man of Starlight Beacon's here. Carol Denver, prodigal child of the Milky Way. Sword. How goes it out there? Driving. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Cat. Too many lights. Too many lights. Damn it, Goose. Uh, I'm gonna get you some readings, Fury. Hello. Back up. 
How do you travel back? Whoa. Spaceship. That's cool. That's like what uh, the Guardians would do, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's the hole. Well, that's where they got the thing out of, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The bangle? It's a bangle. That's a large oh. bangle. Yeah, it's a bangle image. Look at all that bangle lore on the ground. <laughs> jump point's still leaking energy. Hello? Get away from the jump point. Yeah, maybe not do that. Get away from the jump point. No. Look at that, that's weird. Uh -huh. Yeah, dude, she phased out of the school. It'd be so difficult to phase back in and get lined up perfectly. I get what you mean. Why are people trying to touch stuff? <laughs> oh. Ouch. Better hope you guys can breathe in space. Where were these guys a second ago? Why are people showing up out of nowhere on the moon? Ah! Oh, come on! Ah! Would be I would be so scared. <laughs> Oh, at least you're flying kind of towards a thing and not towards Earth. Oh my goodness. The next going to be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm Kamala Khan. Oh, sorry, I'm Miss Marvel, actually. Back from Jersey City, and I... Oh, no, I don't have my mask on. Oh, no, I don't have my mask on. Avengers Fest? <laughs> yep, who the hell are you? You're just in a room with all of your merch. Stalker! <laughs> oh, come on. It's to be expected. Well, when you don't come to Earth a lot, you might be like, the hell is this? Is it instant flattery yes. or instant stalker? BFF forever? <laughs> I love that one, okay. Calvin. No, that one's fine. That one's a little bit more, right? Who are you? I like the living room. Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh. Oh. Wait, so then... What is Darben doing? It's too late. The Earth. Supreme is already on time. Supreme War? You can't stop this. Jeez! <laughs> so is Monica oh. in the room? Where was Goose? I don't know where Monica went. Like did did Fury not break my closet door? Okay, I've said space. Oh, so I broke it so. <laughs> so maybe Captain Marvel broke it. What? Yes. Your friend, Captain Marvel, she was walking up and down our Sounds room. made up. Now you come back waltzing in with no apologies. Your Captain Marvel was in her house. Is Captain Marvel pressuring you in any way? No. I understand that she's an important figure and all that, but you don't have to do what she said. No, no, they're clearly working together. Look her at her face. face. Oh, her smile. Yeah. She's being yeah. super oh, secret. Yeah. 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 I like their family, family too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the mom seems so mom. <laughs> <laughs> Who broke the door? Oh, no. I love it. It's so funny. I love it. A real family dynamic. Refugee? So this is, yeah. This is like where they all went after. This is not what we agreed, Darban. Suprema, Darban. The scroll have been scattered to every corner of the universe. Made refugees wherever we go. And still, we came into these negotiations in good faith. I would hate for your people to suffocate when I strip the atmosphere. What? Hmm. She's a ruthless. Yeah. It doesn't sound very like PC. Nice. Yeah. No. It's the Annihilator! The Annihilator! Oh! <laughs> the same time they used their power then? Or not? Hi, Goose. Maybe after a certain time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Good thing you face. Okay. Oh. Dude, this is going to be interesting. What the hell is going on? It was a freaky spaceship, and then I teleported here. I don't know if that's my new powers, but then it's freaking cat in 
Care of the house? Please run. Hit a man. Hit a man. <laughs> Where are the tentacles? <laughs> yeah, space elevator. Oh, but I touched it. No, no. Why'd you do that? Because it was glowing and mysterious. Okay, no rule. No more touching shit. <laughs> glowing mysterious. Okay, That's what you said earlier. Stop touching shit. Don't touch shit. shit. What are you doing? What is Annihilation. I don't want to cut anyone. Oh. Oh no, the house! Oh. Ouch! Ouch. Oh, oh, so disorienting. Oh my gosh. If it's disorienting. All the powers that, like, these guys, like, how would you fight this? Yeah. <laughs> she brought them with her? How she must have been happen? holding on to them? Uh, I like his music. Yeah, Kamala! Nice! I like seeing her fight. Yeah, take this next uh, Don't blow the windows, though. Oh, that was oh, cool. Dude, that she, like, made it slick. That was really sweet. fucking cool. <laughs> He's smiling, even. I love the cinematography of the fights. Oh, oh kick. Ugh, scorpioned him into a kick. This moving camera is awesome. It oh. is cool. Jeez. You just do that all the time. Then? Well, there they did. I don't know. I hate the way they swap too is like always like blah. It's innocent consistent. Whoa, that was good. That's really cool. Made a hole to swing around. They're gonna need a new house, right? Nick will cover Ooh. it. It's fine. That's actually good fighting. Yeah, that's dude, been I, a yeah. long shot. And the camera work's been really good. Oh, <laughs> that was sweet. Oh, <laughs> oh goose! Why, Why do you need the couch or the chair? They're always fucking with. <laughs> oh, I don't slap him. Mark Oh, jeez. That didn't work. No, Mom. That was actually a good slick move. I love that. The back of the shirt. The shoot. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. She shot him. <laughs> oh. That, that is so cool. <laughs> That, that is really is fucking so cool. <laughs> what the hell's going on? We're looking for Kamala Khan. Get in! <laughs> Get in! <laughs> well, awkward reunion. <laughs> hey. It's uh, interesting. <laughs> So we switch places whenever we use them at the same time. Which would mean Kamala. When did you get powers? I walked through a radiation shielding barrier over witch hex, and now I can manipulate and see all wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Where's our doctor? <laughs> switch. No, 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 look in the air. Because she can't fly. Well, she can use hard light and land. Whoa. And there she is. Oh, oh. Why is that? Oh, I love that we're shooting it from fly. down there. No, 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 no. I, I mean, I know. Technically, I haven't done that yet. Yeah, well, you got to now, or Kamala's not going to graduate from high school. <laughs> use your core. Use your core. <laughs> 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 My coaching. Hey, black out magic. <laughs> 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 Come on, use your core. Dude, yeah, right? Uh, I was not in the air a minute ago. Can you make... Uh, 
Darkwing. Swap with Captain Marvel, maybe? Like... Oh. oh, she phased! Well, that's how she does her power. Yeah. Make a slide or something. Oh! Oh! She did slide off. I feel like you oh, just gained her down harder. Crazy and fun. <laughs> Aren't you? Oh, it's why I fly a face. It's like a tube slide. Oh, just a big old oh. ball. Oh! Uh. Oh, it's cool, it's oh. Carol. <laughs> oh, it's cool, it's Carol. <laughs> she can take that. She, uh, she, yeah, she can take it. He said that so quick He's after so they were going to die. I know. <laughs> oh, it's cool, it's Carol. I wonder what it's supposed to do. Good. Good. I'm proud. Aha! How did she... We're all here now, baby. <laughs> I guess it's the first time of her being there yeah. with her, right? Does it absorb it or...? Yeah. Like, or does it store it and use it? I have a feeling it's gonna get a little crazy Sorry, here. No. Ugh. Oh yeah. no! Like I said, it's gonna get a little crazy. A little complicated. Do you guys have a spaceship I could borrow? Kamala, don't talk to them. <laughs> you know my name! <laughs> <laughs> Those are the bad guys. Don't talk to them. <laughs> Once again, the Skrull have betrayed the Kree! And for that... Is this when they take their atmosphere or something? Yeah. Uh, Looks like they're burning it off. Oh, is it a warp gate sending the atmosphere to like their planet or something? Yeah, must be. Uh-oh. Uh, she's gonna switch. She's gonna try to save somebody. She was saving those people. Yeah, see, now she's saving them. Now she's gonna die! <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's nerve wracking. It's gonna be so hard to, like, like, it'll be so hard to work with this, you know? Well, yeah, because she has to use her powers constantly to fly. At any point in there, one of the other two could use their power and switch. Yeah. Oh. Make a slide. Slide! Okay. I like seeing her help. Oh, now they're gonna fall to their death! <laughs> oh my gosh. Jesus. There's so many scrolls. You have to close it while people are still running yeah, towards gonna you. Yeah, are not going to get all of them. No, okay, come on, We need to save who we can. And that fucking sucks. Don't build a city under arches. <laughs> it's the architect's fault. Yeah, <laughs> fucking St. Louis. <laughs> Place for you. Hmm. Is that okay? Which we have no choice. Oh. Nice. Whoa. 
entrance, man. You're right. King of Asgard. Mm -hmm. Nice threats. High frosts. Really Always. good at this. I see that you finally found yourself a team. It is unintentional. Oh, I've been on some unintentional teams myself. <laughs> you can stand tall without standing alone. Take it from me, Marv. <laughs> Hey, Marv! Marv! Harry! <laughs> <laughs> Who's the Emperor? Don't go to Earth. Mm -hmm. They're not cool with aliens right now, right? Yeah, probably yeah. not. Especially Scrolls. I mean, the whole yes. secret invasion thing really caused like a little bit of... Ah, la! Like, they have no sun, so they have no oxygen, so they're stealing the oxygen from everywhere else. Is that the idea? They said their sun was dying, dying or yeah. being destroyed or Do something. Why don't you move somewhere? <laughs> Moving everybody else. Oh, Man. I heard her lies. Claiming she was there to set us free. But when she destroyed the supreme intelligence... She the cream. Okay, so this is in between the first movie and this movie of what she's been doing. For 30 yeah. Years, I have been fighting alongside you. So killing that computer head dude ruined this world. I mean, it took out. It's by taking out your infrastructure. Hmm. Well, why did the sun die? Unrelated. <laughs> Just. Also sucks. Our son's gonna die. Also well, yeah. Dies. So like they come and they like, destroy our internet, and then our son just happens to die too. Like is that what happens? Like no. Bad well, things that always would be come a bad in threes. Time. No, I, I think it was more thing, like right? maybe the, the <clears throat> supreme intelligence was like regulating it and keeping it burning. Maybe. Maybe. Like it was doing more than just infrastructure. Hmm. Or just like terrestrial infrastructure, I should say. You said you'd be back before I knew it. And you left. You said you'd be back before I knew it. I meant what I said. I just, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I didn't know how to explain to a little girl. A little girl that hung on your every word. If you knew I was going to come back, I just... There was people that needed me. You needed to go. But did you die? So she's on this ship with a super fan and an X fan. Yeah. <laughs> it gets pretty lonely out here. Anytime you need company, I will be there. I will drop everything. I will. <laughs> I will drop high school. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's start again. Hi. I'm Carol Danvers. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at it. To Monica Rambo, who from this point onwards will now be known as Professor Marvel. No. Professor Marvel. No. No, no, she she will That's not it. Thank you. Now that we've got that out of the way, team, I've been trying to tell you, I think I know how she's making the rich on points. She has one of these. It's my mommy's bangle. It started glowing really weirdly when Darben opened that first jump point. Also, it once traveled me through space and time, so that's probably related. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To watch the, the train. The train. Yeah. Quantum band. She had star charts and maps on the screens on her ship. Okay. To where? No. To the stars? Okay. It's fine. <laughs> Like, she doesn't know. Yeah, she doesn't recognize constellations. It's a scroll torture yes, device. Fine. You can use it to access memories. I've been using it to regain the memories of the creature for me. Huh. There, those coordinates. Can you read that? Yes, the Magellanic Galaxy. Thank you. All right. Is that you, Monica? You're so cute. 
<laughs> no, wait. Kira, what are you doing? Did you ask me to come, Maria? Mom. The cancer's back. So, I need you to take care of Goose. No. What do you mean, no? No, I mean, you beat it once, you'll beat it again. Carol. I'm not taking the cat. It's not a cat. Lurk. It should have been you that day. The stupid race to the hangar. I never wanted to be Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel suits me just fine. And it's just until Monica gets back. Never do that again. I'm sorry. It wasn't on purpose. It's your mom passed away while I was flipped. When I came back, no one was there. <laughs> <laughs> she's just uh, she's all good energy yeah Tarnax used to be occupied by the Kree so maybe the attack was a warning so she would be after another former colony is there a former Kree colony in the Magellanic at one point the Kree colonized 25% of the galaxy I just realized she did what they did in space balls if all she wanted was to destroy Tarnax why not bring took her her. yeah just without a big giant robot vacuum <laughs> You're right. Suck. 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 Oceans cover 99.63% of the planet. That is a very specific step. You've been there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's in that really weird thing. Consensus on the lab now. We have our heading. Kamala, you are not going on any space adventures. Nicholas has shown me how dangerous Nicholas is. <laughs> Fury. Wait, where are you guys? Where's Abu? John Lubica. Come back to the John. This man is taking us to hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's a space elevator. Really, Fury. One, two, three, go. Now, why would you say go for going three? I'm aware. <laughs> Beastie boys. This is cool. I like their like their They're practicing, practicing with yeah. this switcheroo thing. Oh my gosh, is this really a? Switching while jump rope. <laughs> she gave me up. Can you hold on a second? Oh. Nice. <laughs> this is a cool way to like have like practice like this. Ah. Oh. Honest oh, truth is in you swap arms. Huh. Yeah. You have to be left. Oh wow. And direction. Mm -hmm. That's why you want to invest in index. Cool. I'm glad they do that because then it explains later on if they have a fight like that. Both the Roth IRA and four hundred one. Tax purposes. You know, I'm never gonna fool about planning for a time. Hey, it's never too late, and it's never too early. Like I say. Is he on here selling? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Same age. Rio six. Wow. Same age. Again. I don't know. She would tell Fury. What is it? Goose? Yeah, I think it's a goose egg. I should warn you that I'm kind of famous here. You do know you're famous everywhere, right? This one's kind of different. I helped the prince with a legal issue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. A legal, a legal issue? Like, we got married? I think so. Oh. Oh. They have flash bombs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a technicality. Carol, what is happening? Our language is song. Most of them won't understand you unless you sing. Got it. Oh my oh. gosh. That's fun. I'm excited. <laughs> Dude, debates are like rap battles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. Can you imagine if the president rap battled during a debate? The debate? Oh, oh, that'd be so fun. Yeah. Awesome. That should be a new rule. Look. <laughs> oh, like... Yeah, but imagine like. It's week six. Did you say no more songs? <laughs> <laughs> it's a long story. I need to sing it. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs>
Is that He's the prince? Beautiful. Yeah. There's wings on his head. I, yeah. yeah, I don't know if I'd like the headdress. <laughs> what the? Oh, wow. Whoa. I love that That's dress. Amazing. That's an incredible dress. Oh, my dress. God. <gasps> How did we not get spoiled she on that dress? She did her hair, too. What is she doing? <laughs> I love that dress so much. It's like a princess with Captain Marvel. Yeah, it has the little things She's a Disney the... princess. I love it. She is a Disney princess. What if you can't sing? I think. It's like you're mute. It's like Spartan children that can't Monotone. fight. Monotone. Yeah, right. See? <laughs> Monotone. 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 <laughs> that was something. Yeah, that was good. Kind of like ants talking. Like they have to just take a long yeah. time to speak. Twenty nine. That's very Where? specific. All over the station. Uh oh. It laid eggs everywhere. Holy yeah. Crap. Lots and lots of flirting. I hope. Pulsar, light lady. they're cute. Please, these are too So many kittens. Flirt kittens. <laughs> Wow. Nice. nice. Hers is different too. Yeah, hers is like hers is different darker. Too. Yeah, they're all different. Hey, Carol's a lot darker too. Yeah. I like his cape. It comes down like all the way. Oh, it's so like. Look. Yeah, you're it's like iridescent. I will never kneel. Okay. Oh! Absorb the light. He didn't have to entertain her for very long. Nope. Attack! <laughs> Charge! Yeah, that's what I wanted. Damn. Oh. And now it's hammer time. Oh! Universal weapon. <laughs> you might have to fly. Thank you, nice. Prince. Use your scarf. Use your scarf. What's the scarf do? Is it a weapon? Ooh, it's like a whip. Sweet. Whoa. <laughs> it's an updated scarf. Yeah, it is. It keeps from having to use her power so much. That's good. I went to look at her old outfit, but the scarf. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a rope dart and a whip. Oh, is so it cool. Want that too. That's sweet. Yeah, these guys are really great. Oh. Oh, I love that nice move on your knees. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> well, the jig is up. My grandma, she said it's me in the mail. Don't talk to them. <laughs> give, me, give, me, give me yours. Nice. Hey, where'd you get yours? Is it absorbing it her energy? Yeah. At all. She needs to stop that. Let go of it! It might be locked in. Oh! Like when you're being electrocuted, you can't let go. Sure, yeah. Alright, so don't, uh, don't, maybe Captain Marvel you should take all of it. No! The water! 
shield. Do all the atmospheres have these shields? There's so many uninhabited worlds and moons that have water beneath the surface. You can yeah, take. Why do you got I know. From... I guess she wanted liquid water, not... This one has the most. And the cleanest. Sunny day in the void. You have to find her. I mean, but she could be anywhere. No. Not anywhere. Holla. She's targeting the people that I care about and stealing resources from every place I call home. Aww. Mm -hmm. We have to go to See, there you go. All those places that have water, she chose specifically so that it hurts Carol. Gotcha. This is an emergency. Half of them are not working. Are they hatching? Oh, yes, oh my gosh. It's a dog. It's a little flirting kitty. How many people can one flurkle hold? At least two. Hundreds of crew members. So we're literally hurting cats. There's some cats. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, this is why you should love cats. They should be terrified. Let the flirt so, stop running, chasing so them. <laughs> I know. They're running in horror. <laughs> Stop running and let the flurkin eat you. What if they don't spit me up and they just digest oh, mama, me? Oh, Mama Cat teaching them how to hunt. Oh, she's right there. Go get her. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> Yay. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so funny. Sorry. <laughs> You're on their side. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute! She just. <laughs> Three, four, five! Jeez! Not me! <laughs> <laughs> Look at it! She wants our son. Ah, uh, it makes good sense. Come back, see if you can do better. I don't want to be an only child. Not again. Not with these two. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Give me the back. You're forgetting something. Watch me. Jeez. Oh. Yeah. She can go invisible. Mm. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. This could have been so much easier. I don't know. I like her odds. Whoa. Oh, yeah. come oh, on. That's fine. They're getting much better at the switching. Yeah. Oh, Carol can't use Flash her powers. Right? Yeah, so. she's been using the hammer to not use her powers. Don't charge her up. Stop. Stop shooting her in the arm. Shoot her in the feet. Shoot her feet off. Ooh. I think. Nice, nice. I don't think she can stop her hard. Like I don't that. think she can. I don't think she can absorb it. The oh, same there way. you go. That's good. Oh, that's so that good. Was that was neat. I like that. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's so impressive, but the moving camera makes it seven times harder to do this stuff. <laughs> oh. 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 Well, I mean, she did warn her. If you, you son of a Hey! No! You 
should have left her. You should have left her trapped and just gone. Should have left her trapped and just gone. That's so frustrating. Now's your time. Go get her. You won't survive this, Darwin. Listen to me. Gonna take her into the sun. Just whatever the other two do, do not use their power. Maybe a million miles away. Well, I guess just Monica. Get those! Oh no, the continuum. Yeah, the black hole. They were talking about the jumps and stuff and how they operated and how they ripped things apart. Yeah. Yeah, because she was opening up too much. Nice. <laughs> she tore a hole in space time. That is a different reality leading into ours. Hmm. Crazy. Fix that? In theory, you and Carol can reproduce the same amount of energy that was used to open it. I will absorb it and then release it, but from inside the tear. But what about the switching? Our um, powers aren't entangled anymore. Oh. Well, that's a good thing, I guess. But wait, you want us to blast you with the same amount of power that punched a hole in the fabric of space-time? If we want to unpunch it, yeah. But then she's going to be on the wrong side of the tear. Yep. Is she going on the other side? She said they have to be on the inside. Yes! She has both of them! Can she handle the power, though? How do you feel, it, Miss Marvel? She has the will. <laughs> How you These feeling? These bangles traveled through space and time to find me. I'm sorry for this. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be now. Super cool. Super no <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, you gotta give like certain fuels for a sun to hit nuclear fusion, right? Cri yeah. Criticality or whatever. I was just thinking about like the bad scenario. What? Well, well, I don't know. Like, could I do this? Maybe. And she goes and it just blows it up, destroys the world. Yeah. yeah. Like, damn it. But she survived it. I thought it would be a sacrifice. This has kitchen that there are all these hot sauce packets, and then there's this. <laughs> 
very bizarre looking tray, which I will say, it's a very good quality though. Oh, you can keep it. Oh no, no, Carol, I just... <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you still sign that thing? You want to check it out? I do. Yeah, you want to check it out? We were good together. <laughs> which got me thinking. Mm -mm. Are they gonna be standing on the building? <gasps> oh, uh, Kate. Kate. Yeah. Oh, that's Yay! Makes sense. <laughs> you know what we're doing, right? I thought it was a goose tentacle at first. <laughs> <gasps> Is that you? Can I help you? Kate Bishop. <laughs> Did you think you were the only kid superhero in the world? <laughs> I'm 23. Oh, I know. I've been waiting up on you. Where did you get that? Found it in my couch. Found it in my couch. <laughs> You've just become part of a much larger universe. Which, at the moment, is just me, mostly. I do have your list out, though. Did you know Ammon had a daughter? What do you want? I'm putting together a team. I know what you want it. <laughs> <laughs> Please? <laughs> <laughs> Avengers. So that's three. Three. Her, Hawkeye, and Cassie. Yeah. Oh, damn needles here. <laughs> Hate it. Love it. Without needles, we'd all be dead. I mean. Aww. Huh. <laughs> She didn't want to be Captain Marvel. Is that is this alternate reality? She is. I mean, she was in the multiverse of the mom. Wait. A Look at her head. Oh uh, yeah. So she is Captain. Wait, but who's that voice? We were hoping you could. Beast. Beast? I thought so. My theory. You somehow crossed through a tear in space time. That is, is that Kelsey, Kelsey Grammer? Grammer? It is Kelsey yeah. Grammer. Oh my god. I was like, huh, that voice sounds okay. familiar. It's the X-Men universe. Awesome. Yeah. Confusion is but the first step on the journey to knowledge. I'll take it from here. Charles asked for a lot of I'll buy a check on you later. I'll do that once he's out. What's that? Who is she? Princess. No. I love the uh, like the Captain Marvel dress that they gave her. Yeah, so I just thought it was really cool. It was oh like the things on the shoulders. It was like it was so fancy. It was very cool. It was awesome. But the the trio, I like the trio together. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like the one the fights were a lot of fun. Like the the chaotic fight in the beginning, where like they don't really know what's going on and they're trying to piece it together. And like they're just bringing Cree with was, them, and yeah, yeah. that was like, the best one. I had so much fun with that one, but I love the I, I like the final fight with some of them, like using the hammer yeah. and like like wrapping it around and like switching to who's going to be using it, yeah. and just a lot of a lot of the switcheroo stuff was. I feel like it'd be really hard to choreograph and plan out, mm -hmm. but I felt like yeah. it was a lot of fun to watch. It was definitely a lot of fun yeah. to watch, and I love that they were training to use the switch, oh, like the, yeah. yeah, the jump yeah. rope and the yeah. throwing the balls, yeah. and I like how. You know, even with the training, they haven't practiced too much to where they still made a few mistakes here and there, but mm -hmm. that just added good fluff to the fights, too. Yeah, the first one was the best for me just because it had the added layer of so much character work being done because mm -hmm. they didn't know what was happening. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which just added this whole other element into it. And but. it was also confusing me because it was so mm. disorienting. I'm like, wait, so why did they not switch that time? What's going on? Why yeah. can't they? Wait, what? I think it's one of those things where, like, you have to know all the rules in order to break them. Like, I thought the cinematography in this was 
some of the best from Marvel for a while. Sure, I would say. I also think and for, I'm saying, for a movie, and I only say like this, the cinematography and editing when it comes to that because it is disorienting in a way that's oriented correctly. Does that make yes, sense? Yes. Yeah. I think it's also too like movie wise. I don't feel like we've had that much. It's been so much more of the shows, mm-hmm. and a lot of those mm-hmm. I feel like the fights haven't been great. Sure. Like uh, Echo wasn't too long ago. I think Echo was pretty good. Yeah, I think I like the, the fights, fights, the fights, and stuff that they did with that was done really well. But there's some other ones where, like, I think Secret Invasion, the fights and stuff we had in there, like, they weren't quite no. as good as what we got in this. Yeah, and I think there was a lot of stuff you could have done with the way that, like, they were getting like multiple powers and that and stuff mm-hmm. too. And it just was kind of like this is okay, but not. This felt like it was another another step up. Yeah, it wasn't arrow quality. <laughs> sure. No, Arrow has some really good fights. Arrow had really good But it's also, for the most part, it's typically just normal people fighting normal people. Most of the time. Yeah. You know? Here, like, you gotta account for, like, Ms. Marvel has a different power than... Like, the way they yeah, used the power uh, are Rambo's, like, phasing. Mm-hmm. Like, there was some really cool moments of what yeah. they did with that. And I love when she threw really that cool. guy, flew through him, and then punched yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was that so was Martian great. Manhunter. That was crazy. <laughs> that was. Also, I love the fact that they had a legitimate excuse to why they could not use their powers mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. fights, and that we did get the good hand-to-hand combat. Sure. Like, oh, Carol had to it. not use it sometimes, or the, else they'd... The best fights ever made are made with limitations. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Made with, like, a character can't do everything that you can't. Exactly. So has, then you have to solve things creatively. Like, two protagonists having their left and right hand chained together, and they have to fight, like, 30 guys. I mean, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Jackie Chan. Like, he's Jackie Chan only is, good because he's just barely succeeded. Jackie Chan yeah. is fighting, but he's naked, and he's yeah. trying to keep his junk covered yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a great fight. Like, that part was so good. Yeah, I love that kind of amazing. stuff, you know? And he keeps grabbing new things to put... Yep. It's so funny. Yep. No, that was good. And the cinematography, the sense of scale, there's a lot of this stuff, a lot of the set pieces I feel were like so large. Like, sometimes I feel like when you watch movies like this, I think Age of Ultron doesn't do it very well. Like, the sense of scale of Sokovia falling and stuff. Sure. I always get a little, like, lost because there's so many characters and so much stuff. I don't really get a sense of what exactly is happening on the, like, whole battlefield. But here, I feel like I know exactly what was happening. And there was, like, seven different gigantic planetary scale battlefields, you know? True. Yeah. yeah. So that yeah. was done really well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I also love the comedy yet horror of the flurkin having to eat everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was such a fun scene where, like, yeah, if this was in, like, a different movie, this would be a horror scene and you're trying to escape yeah. You know, these monsters that are trying to eat you. And but the instead, good guys like, are blocking you off and helping you yeah. get fed. Don't run. Let the flurkin eat you. <laughs> yeah. I was like, ah! <laughs> I love how, how Ms. Marvel is like making walls to yeah. block people yeah. off. He's like, I'm sorry. And this guy's like, ah! He's like calling at the, like, at the It's floor. so funny, but it's also so terrifying. Yeah. It, was just, it was just a fun yeah, moment. They there. needed to tell people. <laughs> but they were trying to. There has to have been so much chaos. Well, what would you think? If, like, you were on a cruise ship or something like that, and some alien creature that you haven't seen before starts eating all of the crew and the other passengers and stuff, and over the loudspeakers they're saying, like, no, yeah. it's fine, okay. just let it happen. You're like, I, I don't fucking believe I you! I think it's a fair point. If I'm on a cruise ship on Earth, especially, yes. If I'm in space, less so. But yes, I still agree. Because yeah. also, some of them were aliens, like yeah. not humans. So yeah. like it, it's more interesting. Mm-hmm. So I guess I get your point. But I mean, what if they digested you? There's not a hundred percent chance that you're coming out of that. You know, like it's still terrifying. Yeah. Even if you do know what's happening, that's why you know Fury didn't get in one. He did not. <laughs> he had to fly. <laughs> or or the, the family, right? Yeah, yeah. Or the parents family. and the brother, they didn't hop in there. Oh, dude, I loved... Uh... And it makes sense why they spit those guys out in the first fight. and ha- you know, Because at first you see them and you think, oh, they're they're gone and dead. But they spit them out and that sets up later yeah, for... mm-hmm. that you're going to use them as transport vehicles. Huh. And mm-hmm. this movie, I think, did a pretty good job of kind of like... With like the mind things and whatnot. Like if you didn't watch all of like... Captain Marvel and Ms. Marvel and some of the stuff, like, you kind of get little glimpses to kind of have an idea, I feel like, of what's yeah. going on. Like, yeah. I think it definitely helps if you've known the story and watched stuff. Yeah. But having those moments, like, Carol, like, having the thing on, 
you kind of see what mm-hmm. kind of happens from Captain Marvel a little bit, and you get yeah. an idea yeah. of Monica and stuff. And like when you start to glow, you can go to space mm-hmm. too. You know those moments, and then we get I don't know I think a little bit more emotion from. Brie Larson as Captain Marvel in this one than we have in past movies as mm-hmm. well. Okay. Especially if you look at like Endgame, Infinity War, like those kind of things where they're sure. just kind of there. Yeah. And it kind of sets it up as like she went to stop them from like this Civil War thing and then kind of causes it, makes it worse. And she's like, I can't go back. I feel like you make a tough solo exterior of I've done this, I have to fix it. And like you, she's trying to not have emotion because of that. Yeah. So, and then you see the cracks. Yeah. And then here, yeah, especially with, like, having Monica there being, like, I just needed you to be there, you know? Like, it's kind of getting a glimpse of the, of her talking to Monica's mom. hmm And being like, no, you, you beat it before. You'll beat it again. I'm not going to do this. I'm not taking the cat. You know? Like, <laughs> it's not just a cat. <laughs> yeah. It's like the, no, you, you'll be fine. You'll be fine kind of idea. hmm So, I don't know. It's just, I feel like a little bit more glimpses into more emotional stuff with her than mm-hmm. we had before, which I thought was cool. Yeah. You know, like we used to, I don't remember ever seeing Captain Marvel like have a tear. Mm. Yeah, no. and in this one we did, and I was like, "That's good." I think I'm. I need to either just sit with a little bit, or maybe do a rewatch at some point. Darbin as the villain. I thought the actress was fine, but I feel like with what they had her do, she should have been maybe a little more uncontrolled. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like the actress like m- m- matched the part that she was playing. I feel like she would have been really good as like a more sympathetic villain, but she turned out to be just like real evil. And I just, just didn't feel like it was matching. Well, I mean, she was trying to save her planet. And she, she was, but in a very vindictive revenge way. Because all those resources that you need, I mean, resources are a they should be abundant, you know. But she was targeting. Uh, but she's targeting it, specifically Carol. So not it, in response to Carol. Yeah. What her she thinks she's doing. What her belief is. Yeah. But I mean, it's a savior it's, and vengeance story yeah. for her both, right? But yeah. I not mean, one or the other. Carol yeah. is the one that took everything away from her, mm-hmm. so she is trying to pay back. But I think also she's trying to represent <clears throat> that she does not feel comfortable. She is not the like trying to be the mm-hmm. villain. She is trying to save. I would have everything. bought that if she didn't like after they came up with like, hey, we can. We can, we can restart have, your son. We can have Carol do this, and then she just tried to kill her anyway. Yeah, you know. But if, if you do that, I think you need to be more Rodin the Accuser, religious zealot, you know, sure. crazy. Versus, she felt, or at least gave off the vibe of being a little more controlled than that. So I just right. felt like those two aspects. I don't know. I still feel like she is still super angry and still blames Carol. And at that point, she's already gone yeah. too far. I don't think yeah. she needed the craziness. I, I feel like point. I was told that. I didn't necessarily buy it. But that just, like I said, I might just need to sit on it more or just do a rewatch. Sure. Now that I kind of know where the things are, I just didn't feel it myself. For me, it, it felt more of a revenge uh, motivation rather than a I have to save my people motivation. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, well, it felt like the saving the people was kind of secondary. It, well, and I don't. I what don't do know exactly do? what she would have done with the scrolls. Mm-hmm. Like she went and talked to them and was like, "I'd hate to take your atmosphere and you guys all suffocate." Mm-hmm. Right? She kind of had that kind of line. Sure. She tried so to warn them. It definitely felt like there was like, "I have a, I have something I'm going to be doing. I want us to have an alliance to it, and you guys can live with us and join our side." And then, well, the as long as they kneel to the Kree Empire, right? Sure. She was still subjugating them. Yeah. Um. I, I guess. What was she? Or was she trying to bring them into like where everyone else is? Generally, is everyone else on their planet like a, a servant? Is that what you're saying? I mean, if you're Cree, you're not. But the, I mean, the Cree Empire are like the, the hybrids. Still, yeah, but weren't they trying to like? Wasn't the idea of a peace talk to like not have that? Element, yes, right? but as long as the Cree's on top. I mean, I mean so I'm not saying like it wouldn't have been a beneficial thing and yeah the scrolls are in a bad place anyway so they gotta take what they can get like no i'm just saying like is that literally what she was saying because yes. I, I wasn't sure if she's saying like you can come and be our servants again or if she's saying why don't you come and join our empire even if they're not our... necessarily servants they're still going to be second class to the kree in the kree empire that's what the kree are known for i don't know she well, came yeah, but in i like, thought the idea is that we're changing that we are saving our planet we are saving our sun this is our it, even thing. if that's what she told them, I mean, obviously that's not what she well, was going I mean. for. <laughs> is, is it obviously? Because she took all not, their air and left them I, all. I know, but I'm, I'm trying to get to the point that I was wanting to make about that is that she came in here. I feel like maybe trying to do peace talks, yeah. and then her annihilator shows yeah. up, and then she's like, "If you're teaming with her, yeah. I don't care anymore. You can all die." Mm-hmm. That's kind of what I got like. As is, well. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. was it that she came in there being like, "I don't care. I'm going to kill you guys all regardless," or was she coming in there being like, "Let's make peace with this." 
and I'm going to do this. But then Captain Marvel shows up, mm-hmm. and with what her belief is and how she views the lens of what the Captain Marvel is, yep. all bets were off, and now it's a little bit more vindictive than uh, being just straight up like, let's make a peace idea with this. Because even maybe. the Emperor seemed like, Captain Marvel, you came in here and you screwed all this up. Sure, yeah. Versus like, well, I'm glad you showed up because she was going to enslave us. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, didn't, I didn't get that feeling from even him. So that's why I was wondering, like, where, what route are we going with that for sure? Because it could have been that Maybe she I, wasn't like going to be bad. And then because of Captain Marvel, it yeah. brings back more of that vengeance kind of story. And now it's sure. like, all right, you know what? I'm targeting the places that mean most for her, even if she wasn't planning that initially. Because they were at Civil War. It was the Kree against the Skrull. Right? Sure. That's what the Civil War was. And that's why the Skrull is away and... Living in Hiding the, the refugee. The yeah. Yeah, they're everywhere. On Earth. So, I was along the same lines as you. This is our planet. Come back. So then I can use the atmosphere from what you currently have and bring it to where we are to help save the planet that we both inhibit. Now, it did sound like, though, like, if you guys don't work with us on this, I'd hate for you guys to suffocate because I'm taking this anyway. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, it did. It's like, it if did you give money to the mob, they'll protect you. Sure. It was, sure. <laughs> it was a strong hand negotiation. Yeah. It's like, hey, you can either agree with us or hey, you will die. Come with us and we're going to take your atmosphere or, you know, you can stay here, but I'm, I want to take your atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it seemed like it's a, that cross of sympathetic and vindictive. That it the, seemed like an afterthought consideration. Okay. Yeah. So I think maybe some of that, yeah, maybe you could less blur the lines on that yeah. of, like, how good or evil she is. Like, when you have Thanos, and Thanos I, is going to, he has a goal and that goal needs to happen. I'm sorry, but it needs to happen. But then... After all the effort he goes through, these Avengers still try to stop it? I'm going to destroy your world. You know, like he had a turn, and I felt like she didn't really have the turn necessarily. At least it wasn't played that way for me. I was just kind of like left guessing a lot, and then even towards sure. the end, I was still kind of like, should I feel bad for her or not? Um, I don't think you should feel bad necessarily for her, yeah. but like what she's doing is for her people, right? Sure. Like her point here is already when Thanos is like, I'm going to destroy your planet. Yeah. Right? Like, Thanos is already mad. Like, mm-hmm. this that's where she's at here, like, I think. I do right? feel like she did not go, like you said, I, mad yeah. enough. I feel like she's someone that we could have brought back to the team. I think right? we see less of the sympathetic, empathetic version of her, and we're already at the later stage of where she's at. Sure. Right? Yeah, we're kind of told, but like, mm-hmm. I don't feel it. I feel like I maybe should have felt it or was being asked to feel I don't know. I think it's tricky when it's like, well, we're watching Captain Marvel and we don't feel like she's a bad guy and then like we sure. get a little glimpse of her seeing like Captain Marvel came in destroyed our su- superior yep. or, supreme or whatever it was called right like intelligence mm-hmm. the supreme intelligence yeah. yeah and like we're like well that doesn't sound right like I don't think that she would just come in and try to destroy your planet but also I didn't understand really what the supreme intelligence did no to I don't think any of us really like well you destroyed it and then now we don't have atmosphere water or sun and I'm like well why? Well, uh, is yeah. the sun unrelated to that, or did she cause this? And you're just like, well, she killed our leader, and everything went to shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah. Carol seemed to like feel like it was her fault. Like, too, imagine so. if someone just comes and destroys our internet. You know, like yeah. the entire world's gonna go into chaos. Yeah, but we would yeah, still have our sun, sun. We'd still have our water. We'd you air. know, like. <laughs> But we wouldn't have. If like anything, our, we might get more air. We wouldn't have our <laughs> banks. We wouldn't have our banks. We wouldn't have our financial institutions. We wouldn't have like so much stuff that like, like put that on a global scale. We wouldn't have maybe the AI is managing those resources, and without the management, it goes you know because our sun's going to mm-hmm. blow up eventually. But maybe we can introduce new things and let it go on longer. You know, and that AI just wasn't around to do that anymore. Yeah, it seemed like maybe. the AI was responsible. For I miss something. the the Cree <laughs> and the uh, and the Scroll fighting, and Carol thought that she could stop the fighting by destroying the the mm-hmm. supreme intelligence. But in doing so, she just exacerbated the war, and the war is what caused the sun to start. They did because say they did that say the that resources they, had been depleted because had, of the because war. because of the civil mm-hmm. war. So it must have just intensified everything. They siphoned all the energy from the sun to fight and everything and that left the the entire guess, planet or they after the scrolls left the tree were just left there to fend for themselves if if the, the supreme intelligence was utilizing like we need the water we need the sun all this stuff will help us be able to win this war and then she comes in like well we got to stop this war and then you kill off the leader of it all and then everyone's just kind of left in shambles like you like you yeah. know what we're saying communication all that kind of stuff's out and he had used all our resources. 
I guess that's the route that it went. Yeah. But they blamed her because they had no leader anymore, I guess. Yeah, because... But if anything, you should bring that intelligence. intelligence. Because he was using all the resources. Well, if they still had the supreme intelligence, then they would have won, and then it would have been worth it, right? Maybe. He would have had a plan for getting those resources back. Were they fighting for who held the control over the supreme intelligence? Is that what the... No, I think the supreme intelligence... He was the leader of the Kree. He's just... Just the Kree? It's programmed to help the Kree. Okay, I didn't know if it was just so, the Kree, the, the whole Kala, or... Because I'm pretty what? sure that's the predecessor that she is speaking of, right? Mm. Or was uh, there another Supremor? Was there another Supremor before her, then? Because you said about my, what my predecessor... I would know. imagine that's a good fill-in. I mean, maybe there could have been, like, a puppet person. Another they, one, like... But they seemed like they were pretty comfortable having an AI intelligence. Hmm. Uh. I just figured that it. she was talking about... Um, What's his name? Shit. Ronan? Ronan. Yeah. Uh, Ronan well, is he like... He's part of like a small religious sect that... Sure. ...hated people. Yeah. So he they, didn't... Like most he, of the Kree Empire like distanced themselves from him. Yeah, he wasn't leading their planet. He was leading a group and they were following Thanos. Yeah. So I guess other than from understanding all this background stuff, cinematically and watching... My eyes enjoyed this. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah, very but much. But thinking back on this, it's, my brain's getting you, very I mean, you have to, <laughs> I, I think to get the full uh, picture, I mean, yeah, like I said in the beginning, like you have to watch most of the Marvel movies. You need oh, to yeah. have watched Miss Marvel. You need to have watched WandaVision. Yes. But do you, well, I keep saying need. Do you have to to enjoy the movie? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I don't think so either. And especially I, with the flashbacks. I, 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 think, yeah. I think the flashbacks yeah. help a lot to understand like what has come before and where these characters are. Yes. When I was a kid, I watched Terminator 2, I was fine. But also, <laughs> except for uh, a witch's own. hex. Like, usually whenever you think of Marvel, you don't think of witches, it, nor, uh, you know, the Scarlet Witch as an actual witch. Yeah, sure. We're, we're still you don't think of, like, magic as, like, a fantastical magic. You think exactly. of, like, uh, like Doctor Odin Strange. magic or something like that, you know? Sure. I think also with it being an hour 45... Like it's not it didn't feel like a long it movie. It didn't or feel short. There's a lot in it for an hour and forty five. Yeah. So. so I think the only thing like if if it I think the only thing is I guess our discussion of kind of being like how are the Cree and yeah. who is this villain a little bit if you could have maybe given her a little bit more and like in a lot of the shows you would have but I feel like they sure. wouldn't have had the budget to be able to do some of the really cool fight stuff that kind yeah. of happened you know sure even though like <laughs> Ms Marvel. Like, I, I love the usage of her. Yeah. And she didn't feel like she was always, like, you're always on the back. You don't get to do anything. Right. Like, sure, Carol would say it, but then she'd see, like, Cree need help, and she'd be helping them. And mm-hmm. then it would cause switches, and then they'd have to just rework that a little bit and figure out where they're at. But Cree need help? Uh, scrolls, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, just having, like, just having her be there, she didn't feel like she was a detriment to the story. It felt like yeah, she added it didn't feel like she was dead weight. And she yeah. has it just that felt extra, like she was inexperienced. Yeah, right. But she also has that extra excitement and emotional element that, like, usually Captain Marvel doesn't have. Yeah, yeah. Feels so like she's like, a bit more jaded, where Ms. Marvel is is fresh and, and yeah, she's be, a bit more of like a Spider Man in in uh, she's, Avengers. She can right? be a vehicle for the audience, learning all these things for the first time. Sure, but yeah. she's also been practicing. Like at least they covered and addressed that that she's been the savior of Jersey. Mm-hmm. And yeah, because like, of what she did before been, and everything. Well, before and just still out there doing it. But the part that I like is the emotional thing that she brings in with everything. Like I like that they they did the vision and the the talking of them with the mom and everything, and then you have Monica being upset, and you know Carol's just there being like, I don't know, but she comes in and gives her a hug, and she's like, come on, come on, come yeah, on. and it, it kind of it, it lightens a little bit, and it gives them a little bit more chemistry, and they, they kind of chuckle and being like, because it's not what they would normally do, or they've right. been separated for so long, so like the aunt niece kind of aspect of them has been lost, but she's kind of helping to bring it back. But I think all that kind of stuff helps make the ending a little bit sadder of her being like, yeah. we lost her, you know? Yeah, we didn't. Uh, do anything with the setup of the code name for Monica? No, they didn't. They must be going to be figuring that part out later yeah. on, I guess. Maybe it's going to be another movie. Maybe it's I going mean, to be like she's a surprise still title or something like that. No, oh, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe it's going to happen during the X Men integration. <gasps> X Men, which would be really cool. I was, 
I'm glad I never heard anything about Beast being in this. I that was didn't just, either. Kelsey Grammer's Beast is back. That's so cool. I love that. <laughs> yeah. I love that, that so awesome. much. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, I I, doubt we I get prefer him. the prosthetic from the other movies. The CG was good, but oh, yeah. the prosthetic was beautiful. The prosthetic was really good. <laughs> um, but maybe just because it's a cameo appearance. Like, yeah. If we see him again, I want the prosthetic, is what I'm saying. Now, why didn't we go with a Kelsey Grammer versus uh, the other Beast, um, you know, from the Greek? What's his face? Oh, uh, Renfield. Um, oh, from First Class. Well, they're the same character. They're just Is it? Older. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a past thing. I, I gotcha. gotcha. I haven't seen that. The First Class piece? No. Mm. Yeah, it's, I mean, what, is it Days of Future Past or whatever, the after credits scene? That's Kelsey Grammer playing him, right? I think so. Prosthetic. It's been a while. Hmm. But no. No, I like that. I was surprised. I was like, oh, the mom's still here. Like, oh, maybe the mom was Captain Marvel in this other reality. Sure. Because they talked about that, right? I wish you would have got if, the powers. If she won she's like, I never wanted to be Captain hanger. Marvel. I yeah. wanted to be Captain Rambo. I was fine with that. Like, I thought that's where we went. I don't know what that costume was. Maybe we, like, some kind of The symbol recognize. looked familiar. It was yeah. like a, a hashtag almost. Like, yeah. Maybe some comic Cap- people would recognize that. Yeah, because she was Captain was Marvel in Multiverse of Madness, right? <laughs> was she? Yeah. Wasn't she? I'm not crazy. In with Captain Carter and Doctor Strange was the, there, the Avengers from that universe she was Captain Marvel wasn't she when Scarlet Witch came in like, yeah. was she in that grouping yeah I'm trying to remember I'm not crazy am I oh it was Black Bolt it was Captain Marvel it was Captain Carter it was uh, how did she uh, die and it was John Krasinski Kriz- how would she die she just blew up she just blew her up I can't remember exactly I know, I know that she like, came out I can picture, point. like, she, everyone she, like, else's death, but the... I can't picture that, but I think you're right, because yeah, that sounds familiar. She, her colors are different. They're, like, yeah. green and yellow and stuff. Yeah, well, they're, I think they're a little bit more, like, Rambo's colors, a little bit more, yeah. right? Like, kind of like the white and green that she kind of has-ish. I think it's just white and black, right? Oh, you mean yeah. that this, this mom? Her, I just, for some reason, I was told, like, that's her, right? Yeah. I, I remember a lot remember of them being that. there, but I don't remember how she died, and that's she how I... Did. That's how... <laughs> what? I said she looked like that when she was powered up. Because, like, I, I remember Reed dying. I think I remember Peggy dying. I remember Black Bolt dying. Yeah. That's the most <laughs> memorable, know, like, I think. I remember those. Well, I mean, yeah, there's so many deaths per second on that one. Yeah. yeah. I think you can be forgiven for getting some. <laughs> Professor yeah. X's. Yeah. Yeah. Charles. Yep. But, yep. yep. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. I don't know if we will see her there, if we will pull her back and we won't see, like, the X-Men side of things or what, but... Do you think that's the way they go with the X-Men? They're not going to, re- like... I have no idea. They're not going to, like, redo the X-Men. We're just going to bring the old X-Men into this universe? I don't know. Hmm. Like, you could have, like, a... I, I always thought, like, what we were going to do is somehow, like, introduce... Something happens and introduce a mutation that yeah. occurs and we start getting a new group of mutants. I mean, we know... But we don't know what's going on with Deadpool, you know? Like, sure. That may be tied in with this somehow. No. You know? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Deadpool has the advantage of just being able to break the fourth wall and do whatever he wants sometimes. Sure. Yes. But I, I also fine. believe that he was in that kind of X-Men world, right? Yeah. Like, he's over oh, there. Definitely. So if that's coming out and you have Rambo over there, maybe yeah. that connects some tissue or something, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. And, um, you know, it's... You know, they're setting up young Avengers here. Maybe we do have... Like the original X Men, but when we're introduced, we get the the young X Men, you know, sure as our like main team. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. But also, like, I don't know if we get the original X Men people for much because I feel like a lot of those guys are older. They might not be wanting to come back and be trying to be like. I keep hearing that Hugh Jackman doesn't want to keep doing Wolverine anymore, but oh, really? he kind of keeps coming back in to be Wolverine and well, stuff like that too. He, so like, he keeps right, saying he like uh, uh, one one like, more, yeah, one yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah, but sure. the Deadpool one's gonna be, it's, you know, look. He's too busy it's gonna be seeing like that dance. It's gonna be like an epilogue. I had heard he wasn't gonna, and like, he was just gonna have cameos in, like, you know, the, the newer X Men with, like, First Class and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And then he was a bigger part of another one. Then I heard, yeah. like, he wasn't gonna do that. Then I heard Logan was the last yeah. one. And now there's a Deadpool thing. Like, well, he's I on keep, Broadway a lot, right? Yeah. So, so, I, he's so busy. Like, <laughs> but, like, I don't think, like, I don't think that uh, Stuart would maybe want to be Charles for, like, several movies, you know? Like, if, you, if you're gonna bring them into, like, the MCU, I figure you wanna have, like, we probably want to do a couple X Men movies. You I mean, know? I agree, sure. but this is the third now of having the original X Men. If you ca- if you count Wolverine and Deadpool, which sure, is going to be in the but they're always other realities yeah. that are fun to cameo these people, and they're never the same people, really, right? Yeah, 
I suppose. So, like, we'll see. the question is, how do you, like, integrate into, like, now they're in our MC? We have yeah. Halle Berry. We have... For um, them, I mean, uh, uh, shoot. What's his name? I was, uh, James? Marsters. Marsters? Is that it? James Marsden. Marsden. Marsters. Marsters is... Yeah. Yeah. Because that was Cyclops. You had Halle Berry. You had, um, uh, Stewart. You had Jackman. Grammar. Uh, mm-hmm. I can never remember Jean Grey's actress's name. I don't remember hers. Uh, I don't remember who played Rogue. I don't remember her name. Rogue, uh, True Blood. She Rogue. was the younger one. Yeah. There's the Ashmore, one of the Ashmores who was Iceman. Sean. Yeah, I don't remember. I know it's one of the Ashmores. I'm pretty sure it's Sean. Um, you know, uh, are we, do you get Magneto? Ian? Ian McKellen? You know, like, I don't know. Yeah. If you do a new Magneto, retired, he? that's younger, you wouldn't be able to do the, the Holocaust stuff. No. Right? Hmm. Like if you get like a 20, 30 year old today playing him. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see what they do. Yeah. It'll be. They have options. Interesting to see how they play out. Well, even the ones that played the younger, like McElroy's. uh, Mm -hmm. James McAvoy, uh, Fassbender. Like, those guys are now old enough to probably. You just use them as the older versions (laughs) instead? Because that's been a minute. Maybe. You could do that, I guess. Do. I think you just kind of start with a new group. I think it's probably the better yeah, route. I think so, maybe. In my opinion. I just, it's just like, you need to introduce... I remember thinking, like, maybe we introduced mutants in some way back with the uh, fish oil shield thing. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. There was an element whenever, like, this, like, yep. fish oil had been, like, contaminated, and humans were just taking fish oil, but it was changing them. And I was like, yeah. ooh, what if that introduces I mean, mutants rather than, like, the inhuman... I mean, to be fair, we've been looking out for it for, like, the last, like, seven years. It feels like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sure. when people were like, when he did the snap, that changed things, and now there's mutants, you know? Yeah. And Kamala is herself a mutant, right? They mentioned it yeah, as her but, being a mutant at one point. Yeah. Like, that was towards yeah. the end of Ms. Marvel. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll so, see. So, I feel like the mm-hmm. whatever they're doing with the X-Men, the mutants, ha- so far has been extremely vague... Well, yeah, I don't think yeah, they have I a, hope not sloppy, but I don't know. I don't think they have a plan for them coming in necessarily. Yeah. At least not that we've gotten too much of. I think they have more yeah. of a plan of like. I think Fantastic Four is planned more yeah. as coming sooner and having an idea of what they're doing with it than they do. But that's not mutant related, you know. Mm-hmm. And you could just have them pop up. It doesn't have like you know, like you said, Magneto has a a really big tie into his person because of Holocaust stuff, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, like that was a, a thing that was always used and. The mutants being treated kind of like the the Jewish people. Yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah, you're right. If you have a younger Magneto, you can't do that. You're not really going to be having them from the 40s. No, mm-hmm. unless for you some reason just say his family. You, well, I mean, you could have family stuff, yeah, mm-hmm. but um, unless the mutants just don't age as quickly. Now. Sure. The thing that you would cable I think, time travels them right to the hall. What are you doing, cable? No! No! <laughs> I think the thing you do is that you just have it where it's like it's not that this guy is. From the, that time and has experienced it, but I think you would just have a lot of similarities of like, here's what this is mm. to what happened back here, you know. Sure. But not that he lived through that and is living through, and he fears that that will be this, you know. But I don't know. It's hard to tell. They've changed a little. That's what I like about the MCU is it alters little bits here and there, so it's not 100 percent the same as like comics yeah. or other movies or other cartoons or any of that kind of stuff, you know. It, they can kind of tweak things their own. Yep. What what mm-hmm. name did did you want? Photon. Photon. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I've heard name? that one. What's yours? Spectrum. Never heard Spectrum. Mm-hmm. Oh, like a rainbow, like full spectrum. A like, uh, spectrum of light. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but I don't know. I, I thought that she was, and I think the symbol on her. It's mainly because of Marvel Snap. There's a Spectrum card, and it has a symbol that's very mm-hmm. similar to her chest. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, kind of has that like photon. It's almost like a T, right? But it's kind of like split in half in mm-hmm. a way. Hmm. But I don't know Photon, but Photon's an interesting name, too. I haven't heard that it's one. It's a light particle, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if that's Mom Photon, the double star. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. We're, we're well past my... I know these characters. Oh, sure. <laughs> I mean, Things we've been get, past it for six years. Things keep getting into new things, yeah. but it's like, you know, I knew, like, some Spider-Man and some Iron Man and yeah. Captain America. And and I was like, I don't know pop. what a Groot is, you know? I don't like... What's a flurkin? <laughs> now we got a bunch. We got a bunch. So, like, do they reproduce asexually? I mean, I don't know of another flurkin. Or maybe around. just ate so much. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it could be... Um, I do like that. Shoot, what are the shriekers? What's oh, shriekers? from, like, Tremors? Yeah. Oh, like they 
divide and create new. And, and Aphrodites. Mm. Yeah. I do like that uh, it seems like Goose was collecting stuff from the Kamala Khan home mm-hmm. to, like, make a nest. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is a nice family house. <laughs> make a nest out of it. Yeah. We also don't know, like, what the incubation period is for a flurkin. Yeah. It Obviously, could be like six hours. forty years. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, oh. yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. It could have like maybe it met a cat at the house <laughs> that maybe. when it came. You know, maybe and that it's works. Just like we're we're ready to go, or maybe it's been slowly digesting and gestating since Captain Marvel. <laughs> yeah, because it's got like a pocket dimension inside of it. Well, yeah, and it's it spit out how many eggs they say? Like thirty eggs. Well, they said that they found twenty nine. <clears throat> But then there was a lot more since there was said. there was a lot more. They were like stuffed in shelves in his office and everything back behind him. I love watching like, everyone be like, "Do you ever bring me good news?" <laughs> <laughs> there was just a stack of them back there. Yeah. Uh, you know, Marvel synergy. Like, I don't really feel like the Nick Fury that left at the end of Secret Invasion feels like this one. But I mean, that could also be the tone of like jumping from a. You know, uh, one character piece to a dark TV bigger show movie and stuff a, like that. You sure. know, sure. And this is supposed to take place after that, right? I think. Yeah. But I mean, we were watching that show, and this trailer had been out. I remember being like, "Well, it'll be fine." <laughs> you know. Sure, I get you. Yeah, I don't know. Huh. Also, half the time when he shows up, I'm, always, I'm half the time I'm waiting for him to be a scroll. <laughs> I know <laughs> because what they it did before. Be, yeah. I'm like, is this is this Nick Nick or is this you know like which Nick 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 Nick, 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 Nick. maybe all the Nicks are scrolls. Dude, I I love the uh, um shoot what's the last name Con. I love Con. the Con family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's something no, just about like when they're like. Like, talking about the closet door? Like, oh, it just broke on its own? (laughs) (laughs) Was it just broke by itself? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just just love it. Kevin Sword members' financial advice. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Their family is just, I don't know, it's so fun, but it feels like, you know, like when you have, like, your your dad and you take them somewhere or something like that, and then he just starts talking to someone about, what are you doing, you know? Like, I feel like that's what's happening there. It's like, no, dad, stop talking to these people. (laughs) We're not selling insurance or talking about retirement or whatever. Because I don't even know what their family does for if he has oh, anything yeah. to do with that, or he's just like, hey, keep your mind, you know, think ahead. Yeah. Well, you need I'm, retirement. When I was buying my house and I asked my dad to come and, you know, look around the place with the previous owner and stuff, and at one point I left them alone for like five minutes. I came back, they were just talking about farming. Mm-hmm. I don't know how they got there. I was like, I have not been gone that long. Definitely my favorite Nick moment <clears throat> is whenever uh, Kamala and. Monica are falling through the sky. <laughs> and then Carol lands. Ah, oh, it's cool. It's just Carol. Oh, it's Carol. Oh, that's good. It's Carol. Yeah. That was a funny moment because it happened so quick, too. Yeah. Like, you almost miss it because it was just like, cut. Yeah. <laughs> it was so fast. It was real quick. And, like, like his personality didn't even change. He wasn't even worried. He was just like, it's fine. You've got to get up there. Use your core. Yeah. Use your core. <laughs> She ain't gonna be going to high school anymore. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was just, yeah. I, I I did enjoy Nick. I, I get what you mean though. It's it's when you jump from Secret uh, Invasion, where yeah. it's much darker and a more serious tone, Very. to this one. It also kind of goes. Like he with, lost so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which like I'm like, well, maybe that may, could that be after this? You know, yeah. maybe that's a possibility. It's, uh, I don't you know. know. I know some people maybe don't like this because they feel like they have to catch up with so much. But if you had gone from Spider Man to this, you would not have known at all. That secret invasion existed. Sure. That's fair. You know? Yeah. Except no, you're, you're like... wondering where Hill is. Sure. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, she's just back on Earth. You, you could just think that, you know? True. Yeah. That's a possibility, too. It also might have some Whereas of that. you can't do that with Miss Marvel. You can't do that with WandaVision. I yeah. I don't feel like he, as much, you know? You may have some of that with the idea of... We always talk about Flash and how Flash sometimes felt more flashier whenever yeah. he was, like, with the other heroes, sure. right? Yeah. And here, like, I know it's, like, a... It's, it's just a movie, but it's also kind of a team-up movie. Yeah, sure. And, like, you know, Ms. Marvel felt like the... There wasn't the super serious all the time stuff that she had to deal with. It was, like, she gets to be a fan. She gets to be kind of curious and a little bit more learning and stuff. Yeah. Like just, Where did like, you get that? Nick Fury. My Nana sent it to me in the mail. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel like Nick Fury in this is like Avengers Nick Fury, you know, where like he's he, he's 
the tough guy and he's there with answers sometimes or he's trying to solve a, solve a problem and it's not about... Strong theory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, strong theory. Strong theory. Yeah, I think you're right on the Kamala. She just... I think a lot of it's the casting. Like, the actress is just so good and from what I understand about her fandom of Marvel, she's pretty hardcore to the point of, like, having fights with Kevin Feige about what this universe should be called. Like, she's like, no, it should not be Universe 616. 616 is the comics. This is different. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that makes me laugh. I love I love uh, Carol looking around in her bedroom. Like, yeah. like she is a yeah. fan of Carol yeah, in this. Yeah, Maybe it's like, like she is like really in real life. Whoa. But I like looking back at the movie now. I'm like. Maybe she really needed that because she destroyed Hollow. Oh, sure. And She's so not feeling enemies. great about herself yeah, exactly. and her image. I mean, she has a... I'm a little bit famous here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in the, in the princess world. Well, she also didn't want to say, I'm kind of married to the prince and I'm the leader of mm-hmm. Aldernon or whatever. Aldernon. I, uh, <laughs> I, I understand, Aldernon. like, Just most actors are... Aladna. They're good, they're good dancers. Yeah. They're good singers. They've been trained. In, I really wish Carol was a bad singer. I thought that would have been hilarious. I know. I was so waiting too well. for it. It was. I just. Thought, it was probably one of those things where it's like, but I'm a good singer. I'm. A, I'm an actress. Yeah, sure. But it would have been way funnier if she was not good. Maybe. And I don't even know if it was Brie that was doing the singing no. of it. I, yeah. I, it didn't look like it was necessarily because they didn't show her face a whole yeah, lot when I she was singing. Sure. So it could have been anybody singing too. But I get what you mean. Like it could have been it fun. Been way better. It would have been hilarious. I feel like it She's was a her. It could have been. Like, but they didn't like. It wasn't as. Sh- like, when the little girl's there, like, it shows sure. her face as yeah. she's singing, sure. mm-hmm. you know? But when Carol was dancing around and stuff, it kept cutting back, and you'd see behind her. Well, I mean, yeah. it's definitely so, pre-recorded. Yeah, at the very least, yeah. 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 For sure. Sure. Carol Danvers is presented of having an amazing voice. Sure. Because it was incredibly clear and vibrant and all that stuff. It's good. Sure. You want that when you have a singing scene. But I just felt like it would have been better. But yeah. I, went, I wanted, like, the monotone, like, yeah. just talky, out of rhythm, <laughs> like... Oh, he's bilingual. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love that. It's great. Yeah. Um, I like the uh, the scarf upgrade. Like, I know there's a meaning behind the scarf that she got before, but I like that, like, this place gave her, like, a scarf weapon. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I thought that was Did she cool. only do it then? Did she do it, like, in any other fights? I didn't notice it. Very no. Well, other. I think she mainly did it then because yeah. she was trying to not use her powers. Yeah. And then later on when they were fighting, um, what's the name? The uh, Supreme War. Yeah. Darbin. Dar- 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 or whatever it was. Darbin. 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 Uh, when they were fighting her, they were all using their powers and using the switching and stuff. But she was told to hide so that she didn't show the bangle mm-hmm. and not to use her powers. And then when, the first time she did use her powers, she teleported up there and then she saw the bangle. And then she, yeah, exactly. So I think that's why they were like, let's use a scarf here. Let's give her, she needs something to fight with yeah. so that she's not using her powers. And that's why they did that. But I thought it was neat. It was yeah, that was cool. It's like the yeah. cape. Yep. Yeah. You know? And it was red too, so maybe the same material. Who knows? Maybe they could be cousins. The cape, like you'd be like, whoosh, and you grab your leg. The cape is sentient, though. Whip it back. Yeah. Huh? The cape is sentient. So you're talking no. about Doctor Strange. Yeah. Aaron's. I'm talking about the cape. <laughs> well, not you're talking about cloak. the cape. And maybe Both are we're sentient. Of I'm not no, wrong. it's not. <laughs> the cape is not sentient. Yeah, it, it's, it is. A, it's an item he has. It doesn't walk around and shit. It Don't. It walk- does, doesn't it? In the cape. Oh. Not the cloak of strange. Exactly. The cape. He's talking about oh. the cape with oh. Keith David. Yeah, Keith David is sentient. He is. <laughs> oh, Summer he's the hero. The cape is not. That's why it fell. The cape's a dude, Poor but he wears a cape, and the cape that the cape <laughs> wears is not sentient. If you're yeah. confu- confused, only the hero Aaron, of the cape is sentient. O- only Aaron and the writers of Community remember that show. <laughs> <laughs> because of poor Summer Glau, I swear. I feel so bad I for her. I can't blame her. She's amazing. Like, she's amazing you can. what she does, but every time. blame her. Every There's a pattern. Time. <laughs> oh, and I love all the shows that she's in, too. I know. It makes me so it's, angry. It's so unfortunate. <laughs> like, what was it? Terminator? Sarah Connor Cryer. Sarah Connor, and then Firefly. Oh, Firefly. Yeah. No, she <laughs> doesn't have a great record, unfortunately, Arrow. with. Oh, yeah. Shows lasting. That's anyway, why they didn't keep her very long. <laughs> it's risky. But anyway, I I enjoyed this. I wasn't yeah, sure. Was a lot of fun. I know I heard people like online talking about how like terrible the movie was or whatever it was, but I'm like, I, I enjoy this more I, than Secret Invasion. I will never. Yeah, I honestly did too. I, I I just I cannot trust online. People just love to hate. It. Well, it's 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 not just that. Some people love to hate. Some people just. 
don't know how to talk about stuff anymore. Mm-hmm. It just it's all good or it's all bad. And if you disagree, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you know? Sure. I think like like you're saying, like I think there's maybe some issues with the the bad guy. Maybe you yeah. can kind of like flesh that out a little bit more. Yeah. And it's kind of like what we talked about with like Justice League and Steppenwolf, where mm-hmm. it's like Steppenwolf sure. is just kind of bad. Yeah. Here it's like I feel like there was something there. But it's kind of hard to really understand. Yeah, like I and feel like, like there was some more of the annihilator scenes that were cut that would have vilified, yeah, Captain Marvel more. I, I want to feel that like maybe they decided maybe we don't want our hero to be a villain or sure. perceived as a villain more. I get what you mean. I want to feel like this person is trying to do what they can to save their planet. Yeah, but then is blinded by seeing Captain Marvel and it turns more into vengeance. While trying to save their planet. Yeah. I mean, even if I disliked the villain way more than I do, I still would like everything else and thus would have had a good time. Yeah, sure. But I feel like sometimes people focus on one thing they don't like and it sinks everything. It ruins like, the whole thing. That's not how I feel like anything works. Yeah, you're like, oh, this one part of this movie was so yeah. bad, I just, I had to stop watching. I couldn't like enjoy you, it anymore. Yeah, it's you like, can imagine if like, you're going to school, you get one question wrong and you yeah. just fail. <laughs> you just fail the whole class. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, you, you have a hundred dollars and you lose one, so you just throw the other ninety nine away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, ah, fuck it. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I just, I can't stand it. The, the, the discourse on movies these days, especially the MCU, anything that goes on this long has had this success, and then especially this crazy year of you know, during the strike, where it's not just this movie, but so many movies. Yeah, uh, I mean, Indiana Jones didn't make much money. You know, sure. Like, and I think it's, it's a movie thing in general, right? Is that what you're well, saying? Well, like, it's it's the people it's, are just COVID, going. It's, Theater. it's theaters, yeah. you know, the strike, the, the, the culture of theaters, it's the strike, it's so many things. Yeah, um, I think theaters just See, aren't doing I would well. Ex- superhero fatigue, it's, which is a real. Thing I would for agree, except for Barbenheimer. <laughs> sure, but that was two movies of a year. Yeah, you yeah. know, and like, they also, I mean. We can talk about how much of it, like, the PR was, like, manufactured versus accidental. Yeah, but, like, true. it took two of those fan bases and two gigantic pieces of marketing to bring all that money together to create this event where people yeah. were buying Barbie stuff and then buying the thing, you know, and then making it an event. And that's fun. That's cool. That is the movie culture we want back. But you can't do that every couple of weeks because we get a new movie every couple of weeks. Sure. That's true. You know, it ruined MCU for theaters. Hmm. It got rid of midnight showings because it used to be, I remember mm-hmm. being younger and yeah. it was an event. Yeah. And it was like Iron Man 3 was the first movie of the whole MCU yeah. that when it got to it, they at least locally, I don't know, other sure. theaters may have done it or I don't know, but they started doing the, instead of having like the Friday, like Thursday midnight, yeah. you know, for going into Friday, sure. like first showing, it was Thursday at 9, Thursday at 6. Yeah. And then and they started like, showing Thursday at 3. Yeah, and I'm like, well, I work. So then I was like, but there's no midnight showing. So I, yeah. I guess I'll go Friday or Saturday. It's like, I didn't make it to the first showing, so I'd get it sometime. Like, sure. I know, man, but out. I'm old now. It, if I went to start a movie at midnight, I would be asleep by 1230. Yeah. I can't make it for a lot <laughs> of those. I'm so old. <laughs> I would go. I'm, I always end up, I, I don't sleep well, I guess, too. But like, it felt like it was an event of like sure. friends are getting together to go to this midnight showing for this. You know, yeah. Yeah. I did it for Star Wars and, and different things, and that was yeah. fun. And it but, could it be another fun. thing where it's like that type of thing is good, but you can't do it all the time. No, you can't but do like, it for everything. There wasn't a Marvel. There wasn't a Marvel movie every week or yeah. every month or anything like that. But there is a new movie like every sure. week or every yeah. month. You know, so yeah, for back then. But, yeah, I'm not doing it for everything. Awesome. Yeah. And not everything needs a midnight release. I think some things do. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. Anyway, that was my point. Just the hype. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The hype for the midnight I just remember movies. being more hype for all of it. All right. Well, I had fun. I did too. Uh, and I'm it interested to see how maybe Monica can come back and maybe bring some friends. I don't know. <gasps> yeah. I'm interested to see how the bangle interacts with Captain Marvel's power. Mm. Sure. Having two bangles and on each of them. Yeah. I hope we get more crossovers between the two Marvels, right? Mm-hmm. Ms. Marvel and yeah. Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think there's also... what. Happens with Monica and the, having the X Men world over there, and then also what happens with Ms. Marvel, Kate, uh, Cassie. Yeah. Is that a thing? Is it going to be Marvel up? Rising? Is that yes. like since we don't like it's weird because we've lost like the Avengers. Yeah. So like you don't have those big kind of team up movies really. Like I don't know what's coming with that, right? Like this was kind of a team up movie. Well, I mean, they were going to the do... What's Avengers going to be? Because, like, also, yeah, that's changed a lot. Yeah, things of, have changed. I don't know what they're going to do. Because yeah, I don't know uh, what the, the Kang, Kang. storyline is, yeah. is going on. So, like, there's see. definitely been some issues of what... I don't yeah. know what they're going to do with all that. But either. next is Deadpool, right? Yeah. That comes out soon? Um, I think it's the point. next movie. What did we talk about recently? It was that and something else. We're, like, the next two things. I don't know, but about. Deadpool I'm pretty excited for. Because uh, Deadpool movies are amazing. But let alone, now we have Monica there. Yeah, Deadpool... 
Yeah. Mm. <coughs> Duh. Yep. Uh, also, I think I'm good on the Kree. I don't are you, think I are need, you done with the Kree? I, I think after you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain Marvel, is this a Vilgax this movie, situation? Like I, I, I feel like I don't need the, the Kree as bad guys. The Kree started way back in like Shield, didn't it? Um, well, there were Kree in the in Shield. Yeah. How much Kree bad guys have we had? Did we count Ronin. Shield? I don't know. Did it, it was like ten does it seem to count it? Yeah. There are some cool ones, but Put maybe, off real that might also be because I've watched Agent of Shield and I had like Sonara. You know, those were some cool Kree characters, and I'm I, I, now when I see Kree and they're just like I think you know, you're allowed to count a people. season okay. that have Kree, but not like each episode that has sure. Kree. <laughs> I mean, sure. if it's just movies, then like we had Ronan the Accuser twice. We had uh, Jude Law. I can't remember what his character was, was named. We had him twice. Um, uh, yeah, he was in uh, oh, Captain Marvel. Crap. Dang, why can't I Oh, run? was he? Remember Man. Young Ronan? I guess so. Yeah, young yeah. Ronan. I kind of forget. Um, I kind of forgot. We had Captain Marvel Kree stuff. Oh, we had Kree stuff in uh, Secret Invasion. We had this. I, I just feel like I'm good. I'm good on Kree. Dang it. He was if, it if you're going to do it, it's gotta, I feel like it's got to be special. And I didn't I feel mean, like Dar Ben was very special to me. There's, in a way, Thanos is like the villain for like 15 movies. Sure. <laughs> yeah. sure. Or however many it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but he was also like he was like a part of that those phases. I wouldn't right? have remembered it. Yon Rog. <laughs> yeah, Yon Rog. That's Yon really Rog. Yeah, who's in? What if? What if? Oh, you talking about Law? Jude Law? Yeah. 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 Um, so Deadpool is July of this year, okay. and then later this year at some point it's supposed to be the Agatha show. Oh yeah, okay. right. that's the other. That's one. gonna be that's super a, fun. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that'll be so, fun. But that's supposed to be all for this year. That's okay. it. That's it. Wow. Well, Which I is, mean, it's strike happened. You yeah, know, we're coming. No, up yeah, I get you. Desert soon. No, we're not because there's so much. Yeah, the, the last five years have released more t- television shows. Than I think one person can actually watch. Yeah, it's just MCU. <laughs> it's just well, yeah, and back. Let alone one channel. Oh, man. <laughs> man. Yeah. But anyway, no, I enjoyed this. I, I honestly, I would like more like this. Like this was fun. Mm-hmm. I enjoy having those serious things, but Secret Invasion was a lot more serious, and I. Yep. Did enjoy it as much. I don't know what elements really could have been tweaked to make that mm-hmm. better, but this, I feel like I enjoyed it a lot more going through. The I think it's up there with Guardians of the Galaxy with the, how much fun it was, you know? Yeah. I think it succeeded in what it what set out to do. Mm-hmm. So. All right. Well, hopefully uh, we get to see some more X-Men. We get to see some Young Avengers, and uh, we'll get to see some more Witch Hexes. Yeah. 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 At some point. Next time. Bye. If you want to make sure that you're there for whenever more MCU material comes out, because it's not just the things that we've talked about, it's also stuff like Daredevil Born Again that's going to come out at some point. Make sure you subscribe because we like to cover, cover a lot of things. Marvel, we're going to have a brand new DC universe, and The Boys. My favorite superhero <laughs> stuff right now. <laughs>